All right, let's get right into it. So let's start from the beginning here. Uh, don't let me down criminals. Complete the prologue. Easy. And then we got Circle of Trust 1 through 6. Uh, you should just get those from progressing the levels and beating the game. And then also Unconsidered Trifles. Unlock your first curious slot. You'll get that very quickly. I think... I don't remember exactly what level. You get it very quickly, though. Um, well met Whippersnapper. Uh, unlock access to the requisitis requisitionatorium. It's a big word. Um, you get that very quickly as well. I think that's level 11. All right. A couple other easy ones. Your time to die. Kill a monstrosity in 20 seconds or less. Um, that should be pretty easy. Uh, just, you know, if you can't do it early on, uh, the more you play, the higher gear you're going to get, higher level you're going to get. So it should be make it a lot easier. And you having good friends as well. Uh, up and at em, help 10 or tell, help 100 downed operatives back up. Very simple. Literally just play the game. Uh, flawless interrogator. Uh, complete a data interrogation without messing up the aspects. Um, that will just happen as well. Basically, just don't mess up. <laughs> you got this. Banisher, uh, banish a demon host. Demon hosts are very scary, and you might accidentally run across them, and the ca they'll catch you off guard and ruin your whole run. Um, but overall, they're not too bad. Should be able to kill one. Takes time. Uh, you know, levels up and get better gear, but you should be able to get it pretty quick. Pretty sure that was the very first achievement I got in the game. A couple level-specific ones, which is Inquisitorial Veteran and Inquisitorial Legend. Basically beat uh, all seven types of levels on both Heresy or Malice. You get both if you just skip to Heresy, but Heresy's pretty difficult, so I would not recommend doing that that early on. Uh, Dream Team... Uh, this one's pretty hard. Complete 100 missions without anyone being downed. Uh, you'll probably just end up doing that. You could also do that on Sedation or Uprising. Uh, not that hard overall, but once you get all that high gear, you're going to want to you know, play on the harder difficulties. But if you can stomach the lower difficulty, then honestly just do it. It's much easier. You'll get it done faster. Or you can try and do Flawless Execution at the same time. And just get Dream Team and Floss Execution on Malice difficulty, which is complete 10 missions in a row without going down on Malice difficulty or higher. Uh, pretty hard. Pretty hard. Uh, in a row, 10, that's a lot of missions. That's a lot of missions. Uh, and then there's the two different class ones. So there's Two's Company and like a Four Leaf Clover, which are get to rank 30 with two characters and then get to rank 30 with all four of the characters. So you'll just get that if you like the game enough. Um, Purging the Heretic. Uh, get a total kill of 40,000 enemies. That's a lot. But you'll end up getting that just from playing the game. So I wouldn't worry too much about that one. Uh, and then there, let's see what we got. So Frenzied Killer. This one took me quite a while to do. Uh, kill 90 enemies within 30 seconds. So I was able to do this with the, uh, the upgraded Psyker... Uh, a sail ability, maxed that out, maxed out my level 30 Psyker, and I was able to just murder so many people with the, uh, with a sail. That, that thing is broken. I don't know what they were thinking with that one. Uh, and then Serial Killer, that one, uh, you can probably try to do that with other classes, but I'd say Psyker makes it super easy. The Brain Burst, essentially, uh, you just... Brain burst, 20 enemies in a row, and they all count as headshots. Very simple stuff. And then we got the Emperor's Pro Protects. The Emperor Protects. Uh, block block 600 damage in 10 seconds. Um, so I did this with the Psyker as well. This was my, Psyker was my first character. Uh, I did this with the Psyker. Once I got the upgrade, that uh, makes it so that the... Shield blocking takes warp instead of uh, stamina. So essentially builds up warp from blocking and then it goes to stamina. So you have a lot 
of stamina for blocking with uh, with that ability. Or you can just do the Ogryn and you can get the shield. The shield is insane damage you can block. Preternatural dodge. Bro, I don't even know what that is. Uh, dodge 12 any attacks in a row. Very easy. Honestly, uh, Ogryn doesn't have that many dodges. But a lot of other classes, they have a bunch of dodges. So you can just dodge side to side to side with from hordes. And as long as you don't get hit in between, you have so much iframes that it really doesn't matter. You can just dodge forever. Okay. Um, so now we get to the class-specific achievements. So we'll start with the Ogryn here. So the Skullbreaker. So killing a corruptor, uh, something in your something in your eye. Uh, kill a corruptor by hitting it in the eye with a grenade box. Pretty easy stuff. The grenade box is very strong. It does a lot of damage. So essentially, uh, the corruptors are the uh, the creatures that come out of the ground with the eye, and you just gotta hit it in the face with a grenade box. Very easy. Uh, and then there's I'm in charge. Use Bull Rush to interrupt a Plague Ogren's charge. Uh, very simple as well. Anytime you see a Plague Ogren spawn, he's more than likely already charging at you. You just use Bull Rush, stop his advance, and he's done, and you get the achievement. The hardest one for me for the Ogren was Gone Bowling, uh, which is knock 60 enemies over with, the, with a single Bull Rush on Malice or higher. So, this one is really a lot easier if you get the upgrade where you uh, you get your charge is 100% farther. Uh, once you get that upgrade, it makes it super easy. Uh, you just click it on a wall or a hallway. Hallway makes it way easier, and all the enemies are lined up, and you just knock them all down. Very simple. So now we get to the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. Uh, so long bomb. Hit five enemies with a frag grenade. Explosion without it bouncing. So this one's a little tricky. So essentially what you want to do, I think about 40 meters out, uh, you can tag an enemy or tag the ground. And then you look up to where you don't see the tag on the ground or the enemy. And then you toss the grenade don't charge the grenade just toss it and it should explode right before hitting the ground and hope that there's five enemies right there and then there's probably the easiest one for the sharpshooter which is marked for death um you basically just have to hit four weak spots in a row with the volley of fire which is a special move um this one i got done really quickly with the auto pistol Basically, I think it was a Plague Ogren, and I just shot him in the face four times with the auto pistol, and it just gave it to me. And then the, probably the hardest one, honestly, one of the hardest uh, achievements in the game is on Overwatch. You have to complete a mission on Malice, Threat, or Higher without taking any melee damage as the Sharpshooter. So, this one, you just have to play like a god, essentially. Uh... If you want to get it legitimately, you got a really good, or you got to have a really, really good team. Uh, or you can cheese it, which is basically right at the beginning of the level, you jump off the edge, die, and then have your team not revive you until the very, very end of the level, and then you finish the level. This honestly wouldn't be that hard if you were able to load into a level and just finish it and get it, but it says complete a mission, which means you have to go from the beginning all the way to the end uh, without taking any melee damage, which is really difficult. All right, now we're going to get to the Psychers. Um, so Cliffhanger kills seven enemies in, a, in two seconds by knocking them off a ledge with the, the rat. Um, so you can do this with the four sword or you can do this with the super that pushes people away. Um, this one's pretty situational. There's only two really easier scenarios here. 
So there's one level, I don't remember exactly which one it is, but it has, right at the beginning, it has a little bridge on the left side that's really skinny. Uh, you want to just wait there um, and bait all the enemies to go on the tiny bridge. And then you can either go on the right side and push them all off, which I wasn't able to do because the horde ran too quickly. I was able to do it by force uh, pushing all of them with the force sword right on the bridge. And knocked a bunch of them off and got the achievement. And then probably the easiest of the class achievements here. Not even close. It's literally kill a pouncing pox hound with a brain burst. Very, very easy. You're probably just going to get it like the first match you play as the psychic. And then another really difficult one. Going out with a bang. So kill one elite with a single perils of the warp on malice or higher. So... Perils of the Warp is the explosion that happens when you get overloaded with a uh, warp. Uh, so, the elite enemies. This doesn't work on every every single elite. So, it works on the bigger ones. So, I don't know exactly which ones, but I know that the uh, Ogryn enemies, the bigger ones, those ones count towards this achievement. So, Usually, those guys have a lot of HP, so you usually want to weaken them or have let your teammates weaken them a little bit while you get your charge up, and then try to get the kill with the explosion. It is pretty difficult, especially with a good team, because they'll kill things way before you're able to actually get to the explosion. But uh, with a few tries and probably some wipes, because you're going to be letting your team down trying to get this one, which is really dumb, but whatever. You do dumb stuff for achievements all the time. I've done plenty. Uh, yeah, you should be able to get it pretty quick. Alright, so now to the Preacher achievements. So, Preacher, uh, first one, Abhor the Mutant. So, kill a mutant with a melee attack while dashing when using Chastise the Wicked. So, this one can be pretty tricky because you, Chastise the Wicked only counts on the first hit of your melee. So, you want to have a big weapon. And you want to kill the mutant. So essentially, the the way I was able to do this is I got the once I got to level 15 or 16, you get the thunder hammer. Thunder hammer has like a secondary effect where you can charge it, and it does crazy amounts of damage on one enemy. Uh, so basically, you do the secondary effect on the on the thunder hammer, and then you uh charge your melee attack. When the mutant is charging at you. And then do the rush. The chastise the Wiccan rush. And then let go and hit the mutant. You should just one shot the thing. Uh, it's not super hard. But you do have to level up. If you want to try and do it throughout playing. It is a bit harder. Because you don't have as many good strong weapons. But you know. It is possible. So then we got buying time. Uh, hitting the enemy sniper more than 40 meters away. Using a stun grenade. So. This one's not super difficult. Essentially, when you see a sniper spawn, uh, if you have the upgraded stun grenade, the bigger stun grenade they added, um, you can throw the grenade at the sniper, run away, and hope that you are about 40 meters away by the time it goes off. Um, you'll know how far away you are, because you, if you tag the sniper, it will tell you. So it's not too difficult. So then we got... Another one that gave me a lot of trouble, which is shocking stuff. Uh, shocking stuff. Um, kill 40 shocked enemies within 10 seconds on malice difficulty or higher. So for this one, I didn't find a very easy way to do this. Uh, some people online were saying the flamer weapon or the um, bolt gun, which I didn't couldn't get to work at all on either of them. Uh, honestly, just play the game. Stun and big groups of enemies and hope that you get the 40 kills. That That's really all I can say. I, I couldn't find any easy way of doing this. All right, so that is all of the achievements for Dark Tide. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. If there's any specific game you want to do, want me to do an in-depth uh, achievement guide on, please feel free to leave a comment as well. Uh, like and sub subscribe, please. I am a new channel. I, you know, any any help I can get is awesome. Um, all right. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.